Hello everyone! I haven't filmed in a while or posted on Instagram or Twitter or anything because I have been unavailable but more on that later. Today I just wanted to come back and have a chat. <sighs> the cord is stuck. We're gonna play some good old Nintendo 64. Today we have the sequel of a game that I used to love as a child, Chameleon Twist. I don't think a lot of people have heard of it but I loved it as a child. This game does not seem to have the same quality as the first game, but we shall see. So, the premise of the game. I'm a chameleon. I have a long tongue. Oh no. Oh, I thought it was gonna... Oh. Can I not change the angle? This is the thing when you're used to playing newer games and suddenly you're playing a game where you just can't change the angle. It's really... Oh Yeah, see, there's like a tree in the way. Suddenly I can't see what I'm doing. What am I supposed to do here? This game... Oh! Oh, look what I can do. Woo! But I still can't use that boost thing. Okay, what? Oh, it's a lift. <gasps> I have an umbrella. Oh no, this is stressful. Oh, those aren't boosts. I think they're just like signs to tell me to go here because I can't find a way for them to work. I don't know where I'm supposed to go. Okay, so I feel like I have been juggling my way around a burnout for a while now. And it's gotten to the point where like several people in my life have expressed their concerns. I'm not a person who can slow down. Oh, okay. I, clearly I cannot talk while I'm doing this. I know there's something I can do about like with those poles. Okay, this is a lot of bad news. I'm gonna just leave. Okay, stop it. Oh, this reminds me of Spyro. That's a game I would like to play. Oh. Okay, yeah, stop, stop it. I need that heart, okay? No, now I really need it. Uh, stop. This is turning into a rage game real quick. Uh, oh, no. Okay, so when I hit something, my tongue just grabs onto it. Okay, now I know that. That would have been nice to know a while ago, but now I know. This game is really annoying. Stop it! Oh, did it actually send me across? Please tell me. Oh, no. Have I been here or no? Oh! Wait, what? I couldn't go. Okay. There was like an invisible wall. Oh, there's wind. I thought I had time to scratch my nose, but I didn't. Oh, there's the carrot. Oh, this game is gonna make me lose my mind. Oh, okay, can relax now. I am a person who just, I'm a very impatient person. I like to have stuff going on. So I started a new job, full-time job, and I've also been, oh, yo, yo, no. I've been working freelance as well. That's what I did before I started the job. So I've kind of been working double for a really long time, or, you know months and I've also just kept myself super busy and all of that. It's not ideal. You can't just keep doing that forever. I am a workaholic. Everyone who knows me knows this and I also kind of... This game sucks. I'm gonna play a different game. In the meantime, something that I am proud of that I'm doing right now, I'm going to a psychiatrist to sort my shit out. I'm gonna talk more about this. I've met like one person or two people, but they're siblings who know this game. If you know, you know. Diddy Kong Racing, have any of you played it? If you have, please let me know. It's such a good game. So this is a racing game. There are some small like battle games that are really fun. Oh, oh. The controls are really loose. But this was my jam when I was little. I wasn't very good at it. I didn't play a lot of racing games. Oh, and you have weapons. Oh, that was terrible. Terrible turning game over here. Oh, okay. That was terrible. Uh, I was supposed to take a shortcut and then I just ruined it. Oh, yes. And there's the dinosaurs. I mean, what is there not to love here? And you get boosts. Although I'm, I'm, I'm missing everything here. Okay, now I'm gonna get the... <laughs> I missed everything! And I... Okay, well, the other people are really slow, so it's okay. Ugh. Okay, I think I have missed every single boost, but the steering is really loose. Okay, yeah, so I am trying to not get burnt out. Don't really want to do that. I <laughs> don't, you know, it would be nice not to. Okay, basically, last time I traveled, I was burnt out. It was bad. It was like proper. I, wor I worked at the hotel room at night after driving, and it was just really bad. The actual visit was really nice, though. This time, when I went to London, I was proper on the edge of burnout, I would say, and it was really hot. 40 degrees heat. I cannot deal with heat. I just felt so extremely drained and I felt really bad that I didn't hit my friends up to see them. I didn't plan beforehand because I knew it was gonna get super hot. I didn't have the social energy and I didn't have the physical energy. I felt terrible about it. I don't think I can do this yet. It's so intense. It's like, bah, 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 bah. if any of you watches Steffi Lee, I really like her. She's a very laid back, 
kind of YouTuber and I've followed her for a long time. In her last video, she said something about driving back to the East Coast where she has a lot of friends and family and she said that she wasn't telling people that she was coming because she didn't have the social energy to hang out with people. It made me feel so much better that she said that because I had felt so shitty about it. I feel very excited to film videos. I really want to get back into creating content because I have missed it and I feel really bad just leaving my you both my channel and my Instagram just like dead for months. <laughs> Some people say stuff like why don't you have more subscribers if like, you deserve a lot more subscribers, subscribers and stuff but you know consistency is just so important for youtubers and I am not always consistent so that's an issue. I really hope this works out uh, but you know he is just really close to the edge and if I hit him I'm gonna go splat so Oh, that's a little bit stressful. I have a lot of videos that I want to film and upload and stuff, but I'm gonna try and keep the bar low for myself right now. You know what? I'm gonna go and get the key for the mini game or paddle game or whatever I should call it. So what else is new with me? When I was in London, the second day I was there, the scariest thing that's ever happened to me in London happened, which was really stupid because like I've lived in London for so long and then suddenly I go visit and it's Oh, did I get the key? I don't think I did. So I was standing right next to... Oh my god. Oh no, I am just messing up. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna take the key. That shouldn't have been that hard. I was standing right next to a corner shop. I was in the corner and there were building blocks, so I was, you know, closed in. And suddenly I heard that there were some commotion between people. And then suddenly someone started screaming, the worst kind of screaming I've ever heard in my whole life. Like someone was gonna get killed kind of screaming. I don't know why, but I am scared of getting stabbed when I'm in London and it's kind of irrational because usually people don't just stab random people. Where did my egg go? Did someone steal it? Because I'm pretty sure I dropped it in my... Why? Okay, I'm gonna take your egg. Um, I was gonna take that. Oh no, the tiger is gonna win. God damn it. I need to do that again, because that was terrible. That was a terrible attempt. But anyway, the worst, worst screaming ever. I definitely thought someone was getting killed. I thought when I turned the corner that I would see pool of blood and a, a body laying there dead and I thought because I was close and I was kind of trapped in this corner so I thought that I was gonna die as well <laughs> I literally thought someone was gonna like they were gonna kill that person and then they were gonna come for me because I didn't have anywhere to run turns out it was these shitty schoolgirls who stole from the shop and when the shopkeepers tried to stop them the girls started screaming like crazy to get the attention on them instead if you do that as a child like what I just feel like there's no hope for you if you think that's okay. If you think you can go around doing shit like that, it's so disturbing. Oh look, maybe I'll win this time. Okay, I'm gonna take all the eggs, cause I don't care. Hey, someone took my egg. That's so rude. Take the egg, take the egg, take the egg. How did you like Diddy Kong Racing? Might not be as good as a streaming kind of game. I think I'm kind of coming into a, I am a person who tries to live sustainably and I like to play games. That's kind of my channel now. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you've ever played either Chameleon Twist or uh, Diddy Kong Racing, please let me know because those games are just staples of my childhood. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone who watches my videos especially because I'm not very consistent but it's been a rough year okay I'm gonna say that I'll see you in my next video keep the good advice bye